Now, the conversation is about intangible property as assets, such as trademarks, copyrights, patents, trade secrets. You know what I'm talking about. But again, if it's really an asset, the owner of that intangible property should be able to get a representation or a value of ownership that can be converted into cash. You following me? Hello visionaries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Talbert. I am the founder and CEO of Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. All right, y'all. So there's a lot of talk about assets over liabilities, and I'm going to sound like a broken record because I'm going to continue preaching that intellectual property is an asset all over social media. You hear the so-called gurus and the experts telling everyone to start an LLC because they believe an LLC to be an asset. And that all sounds good, theoretically. But how does that actually work practically? When I think about an asset, I think about something that increases in value over time or makes me money. Historically, only tangible property were considered real assets such as people, animals, art, jewelry, cash, or even real estate. Why is that? It's because that tangible property represents a value of ownership that could be converted into cash. You can sell your animals. You can sell your equipment. You can sell your real estate. You can sell art. You can sell jewelry. You could even sell people at one point in time. Now, the conversation is about intangible property as assets, such as trademarks, copyrights, patents, trade secrets. You know what I'm talking about. But again, if it's really an asset, the owner of that intangible property should be able to get a representation or a value of ownership that can be converted into cash. You following me? Now, in my last video, I talked about the opportunity to create passive income by either selling or renting your intellectual property. But there is an additional option that I want to talk to you about today, and that is the possibility of using your intellectual property as collateral to secure a loan. So let's get into it. This concept is known as IP-backed financing. In such cases, the secured creditor or the lending institution can retake possession of the IP if the debtor is unable to pay the loan, similar to a car or a house being repossessed or foreclosed on. The ability to use your IP as collateral to secure a loan falls under Article 9 of the Uniform Commercial Code, or the UCC, which governs secured transactions. To affect this type of transaction, you need three things. Number one, a standard lender security agreement. Number two, a UCC financing statement. And number three, notice of the secured creditor's interest filed with either the Copyright Office or the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, depending on which type of asset you're using. There are a number of well-known companies who have done this exact thing. We don't reinvent the wheel over here. We just follow the blueprint. So in 2002, Xerox Company pledged its patents to secure collateral for financing when it was falling into financial distress. In 2006, Ford Motor Company pledged its trademarks to secure a $23.5 billion loan. And both Kodak and General Motors pledged their patents to secure financing when they were facing bankruptcy. Additionally, top banks such as J.P. Morgan Chase Bank of America, Citigroup, and even Wells Fargo are known for financing IP-backed loans. The moral of this story is that when I say your IP is an asset, it's not just a buzzword. 
Your IP can not only offer different avenues of monetization, but it can also increase the pool of available credit to you, similar to tangible assets. All right, I just wanted to put the bug in your ear. That's all I have for this video. If you have been procrastinating on securing your trademark or your copyright, you go ahead on and schedule your consultation with Talbot Law Office. The link is down below. We can help you protect your assets and we can put you in the position to safeguard your legacy. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. I'll see you in the next video.